Previously you saw us at the Adventure Overland Show in Stratford and in that video there was a little glimpse of an amazing school bus that was there. I think a lot of people will agree, despite not being an overlander, it stole the show. You just don't see many of them in the UK, especially the flat fronted ones. And the owners, Simon and Alison, were kind enough to let us look round and even have a bit of a tour. If that's all right, I mean, you go first, I'll the dog. I'll have a dog if you want. You sure? Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's I've been dogs in <laughs> Thank you. Behave you. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. Starting with a fully fledged vintage school bus, complete with all of the seats. So during the lockdowns they set about removing all of these, figuring out layouts, what works and what doesn't, and using mostly recycled materials, began to turn it into their full time home on wheels. Captain Fantastic. Stick it to the mail. Oh, just the length of it. It keeps goes into the room. The amount of gelatin is unreal. This is a proper house. Every window it opens as well. Like it's just a breeze. It's amazing. Oh, it's so nice. Just love the ceiling as well. Because obviously they yeah. it to Yeah, yeah. And it's not warm. It's not hot in here. No. Again, because well, I guess the window. I've got the plumbing. Yeah. Top topic. We started on this. We naturally went straight to the American yeah. source, and we was watching obviously the American guys, and we didn't really jump onto van lives over here. Yeah. Because we're trying to get what issues am I going to have yeah. doing this project? Yeah, yeah. So you know. It's just such a beautiful thing. Oh, Have you seen the one that's parked up in Hawaii? Yeah, the big round. Look at him, horse man! There's one of these parked up in Hawaii and it's stationary on a hillside. I've not seen it, but And it's absolutely stunning. Just, are you correct with the around what you the eight you know? It was designed 1940. This company only made fire engines and school buses, so there was niche. Yeah. Uh, like I say, they only really did the area of, of that side of the state. Yeah, was, oh, wow. So I know we've got that in there. Check everything out, you can get a double bed easy in there. Yeah. Not that I want to put anyone in sleep in it, but it gives you a, it's a perfect it's size. Huge. I've got an event tank we've not used, I've got more there's all sorts, it can be, you know. Uh, I was not even thinking this is where the engine was. That's what a lot of people go, oh it's a pusher and think ah. it's around here. I've gained all this engine. space because it's a mid. Oh right. That's why it's in the ah. middle. So get, and now there's no engine back here, so I've got this space. Yeah, yeah. No engine at the front, so I've got that flat frame front. Yeah. Which means if I'd have gone with the other star, which we were originally looking at, it would have been 41 feet long. And that's, yeah. that's trouble with the campsite. 36 yeah. is the same as that, that double axle trailer and a 4x4 pulling it. I get to keep, because we're not in the States, my red lights for children. Oh yeah, yeah. So in the States, you have to blank them out. It's illegal to overtake a school bus when the red lights are on so that's a law in the state so i can keep that on because it's irrelevant to yeah. over here the red lights also in the front but the fun bit's also on the front <laughs> i saw the red lights in the front earlier yeah. did you see the, the the party trick of the bus no, no. I, I was going to see you and then yeah. seen inside of it oh, there's the engine jesus that's yeah. a big engine on its side yeah oh my god Go on, son. <laughs> so you're dropping the kids off at the pool you're dropping the kids off wherever Oh, let's see. Oh, that's a <laughs> so when you pull up, you've got to hit, obviously put your warning lights on, which is that switch there, which turns. So you switch that. You check out the front. Ha ha ha! Stop going out so soon. So that's so kids can't run out too close. So what that is now is the safety feature. So without that, kids, and you've all done it. We've yeah, just, we've all done it. Just cut straight across. So when they go on to stay, the bus is stationary. One, you can't overtake. Two, the kids are now going to go. We all want to do uh, that yeah. on mine, but with harpoons. Just yeah. bang. <laughs> put a big thing in there. Yeah, yeah. Get out of the way. So yeah, so it swings out. So kids have to come back here before they can cross the road. 
Oh, it's so, so cool. I'm waiting for somebody I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't consider Frank. turning after Frank. angling it so I could then put a flag on it and just get to play from that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but brilliant. This, this is a lot more fun. Come on, let's go yeah. inside. Uh, it was fitted with these crazy TVs out of airplanes, which we don't really use. We just, the, when it was a, when it was in the UK, they used it more of a school room, classroom that went around schools and kids would sit on it and put a video on. So I say we got it, ripped all that out. We've, we've, we've done all this during the furlough, so most of it's recycled. Most of it was bought off marketplace, second hand, uh, not counting solar or the tech side and the fan. 2007 when the found is what we were at with this wow. vehicle, not counting the purchase. So, yeah. the conversion. Yeah, but this, that looks a bit, yeah, we was on a budget yeah. and we couldn't buy anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Including the fridge. That was £100. No. Oh my Alice god, this is Smeg. The, the, the request Alison said, if I'm going to have a school because I want a Smeg, I went, okay. <laughs> and I needed to work then calculations of solar to, to work that. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was the one she wanted. She tracked it down. It was on marketplace. The couple getting rid. We went, picked it up, and it was yellow. <laughs> uh, you know, we have a yellow thing going, as you may have noticed. So you've got the outer skin, then you've got the wadding that they put in 50 years, 40 years ago, and then yeah. you've got this aluminium. I mean, that beats a lot of modern insulation, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so we went with a kitchen like that because. We, I didn't want the gas malarkey. You've done campus, you, you know, potentially, yeah, gas. So we've gone with the solar, it was an induction hob, was the obvious one. move. Hmm. The other thing is living in it, having available workspace to either work laptops, to work sewing machines, to work tools, yeah. without having to have a big hob thing here full of grease. Yeah. It, it, oh, oh, yeah. You know what I mean, you're living in it. And, and my, so we may change it, but for us at the minute, the workspace it is vital. Great. We've gone with the breakfast bench seat. table. <laughs> We can sit here and have breakfast, look out at the world, blah blah blah. IKEA blinds, they're quite good because they've got this waffle effect, so they're quite insulated. Yeah. The downside of having some windows, you lose a lot of yeah, yeah. heat. Yeah. So we went from there downwards, we've insulated it ourselves, and that comes out of safe so than what the original bus is. That pulls out into a double bed with water's underneath there. That pulls straight out, uh, makes a double bed for the grandkids or whatever. Oh, that's amazing. So that's from, I don't know, Wayfair or one of those things that was out of a spare room in the house we cut the legs off that cupboard it fits great <laughs> seat, we went with rather than loads and loads of cupboards as you can probably feel it's, it's wide and open enough yeah. to make it yeah. uh, we went with a live bed shelf give it a bit of character with a simple system from the jars it's a simple yeah. thing in it it's not complicated that'll lift up there yeah, that one then one's, then one's alive <laughs> That's, that one stays, they go in the sink on transport day, you know, yeah. moving day. <laughs> Pack down day. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Uh, the fridge is, is connected back there so it doesn't fall. But we use this guitar strap on transport days as well. Yeah, yeah. We lock that off and then we, we just hook onto the door handle. Yeah. That also kicks that kicks under there to give it, because it's almost full of beer, yeah. alcohol, <laughs> bottles. And we'll let it go once. So, even the walls where I landed the walls hit that. So even the, the bathroom window will go all the way down, so yeah. will the shower room, which we've not done yet. Brilliant. As the wardrobe will also go down. Oh, wow. So this is the back end of it. Max fan. Oh, another door. Diesel heater. This is one of the fire exits. The back window is also a fire exit in emergency. It lifts up. So yeah. then van life photos. Yeah, and back door views. Oh, <laughs> we've ended up obviously going with a four-way, three-way, four-way stretch carpet for in here. There was issues with at the beginning with us sleeping in it all the time. Yeah. Condensation. So to overcome that, the diesel air flow through that, and that resolved a good percentage. But we still had an issue to reduce the temperature of the inner skin. This has worked great. Yeah. Alison would have liked a wood finish, and I couldn't. I've looked at this, and you, yeah, you look at shape. that as a project. I don't know a carpenter would go. Yeah, I can do that for you, love. Yeah. It's, um, it's and you'd lose that shape. I have it's, the exact almost, same issue in mine. Do that to that, but then the yeah, is, and you can see the issue would be yeah. there's lots of even carbs in that is awkward, isn't it? Curve all the yeah. yeah. So, so Alison herself decided. I think this was a 
compromise it, we were happy with it at the minute. And obviously we'll only know by next season. Yeah. When we've obviously spent another year in it. How long have you had it now? Uh, probably 18 months now. Okay. It took us about six months. So it's been your lockdown project. A lockdown project. And we've come mm -hmm. out, a way, it was a five year plan to find a bus, to build a bus, to sell everything and yeah. move into it. And then the COVID and everything, it's it's condensed, it's condensed everything. everything down. The only compromise is we've had to use a lot of recycled material, which actually, I'm That's happy good, with. Isn't it? Um, you know, and it looks, got an issue with, it looks incredible. You know, this our, our wardrobe doors. My uh, battery banks and power is in there. Look, just pull that one too. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't really in the back, uh, yeah. but I've had to move it because obviously you know what it's like when you start investing money into that kind of equipment. Oh yeah. To have it in the boot where it potentially can just. Well, go, walking. go walking yeah wasn't really where we wanted to yeah. be so you know moved it in i put the fire bomb in there purely because a lot of people say oh yeah but yeah if i'm not oh, around, that's clever if i'm not here that will put me fire out yeah yes i've got a fire blanket yes i've got a fire extinguisher but i need to be near it to do that yeah if every every away, like sort of precaution that, isn't it that just expanding the foam or something no it just it's full of powder mm. uh the product that will suppress that completely yeah. suppresses i'm it. gonna get some of that and then you <laughs> Uh, off Amazon, I think that. it was $14.99 for that size ball. That ain't bad. That you might have one more drone later. Any questions? <laughs> oh, it's got me. I've had so much van envy at the moment of this show. It's like that one there, sort of like the hardcore version of mine. Yeah. Big truck version. There is a lot of we've been in. I think we're going. Oh, I like the look of that. And I'm going. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of ideas. Okay. Yeah. Oh dear. Massive thank you to Simon and Alison for letting us see their home on wheels, and happy trails now that you can finally take it out and use it. If you'd like to see more of this awesome school bus, the links to their Instagrams are down below. <laughs>